friends so after finishing two numericals on multiplication by t property let's move to the next numerical on multiplication by t property so here the difficulty level will be higher than the previous numerical so let's start let's see how to apply the property in the numerical and get the answer so let's start <music> We have to find out the Laplace of t plus e to the power minus t plus sin t the whole square. Now guys, here we cannot see that we have to apply multiplication by t property because for multiplication by t property we should have a function as t into f of t. So I don't see that type of form in the question. But if we expand this function then we might see that form. So guys, how to expand this function? Because until and unless we are not expanding, we will not be able to get the value of that. So here, if you see there are three terms adding each other and we have a square outside the bracket. So here I am going to use the formula from algebra. So you must have done that formula, but still I will write down that formula for you all guys. So the formula is a plus b plus c the whole square. So guys, what is the formula for this? So it is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca so guys i'm going to use this formula where value of a is t b is e to the power minus t and c is sine t so let's start so laplace of this given question that is t plus e to the power minus t So a square will give me t square, b square will give me e to the power minus 2t that is square of this term plus c square will give me sin square t plus 2ab will give me 2 times t into e to the power minus t 2bc will give me 2 times e to the power minus t into sin t and 2ca will give me 2 times t into sin t. And now guys, to get Laplace of this term, I have to find out Laplace of this whole function. So here I'll give it the bracket and we have to find out Laplace of this. So to get Laplace of these 6 terms, we can take Laplace of each and every term separately by using the linearity property because we have this plus sign in between. So we can separate each term and we get the Laplace separately. So let's start. So first is Laplace of t square. So what is Laplace of t square? So it is matching with the property Laplace of t raised to n. So it is n factorial. So it will be 2 factorial upon s raised to n plus 1. So s cubed. So this is the value of first term plus Laplace of e to the power minus a t is 1 upon s plus a. So 1 upon s plus 2 because value of a is here it is 2. Next Laplace of sine square t. So now we don't have any standard property to get Laplace of sine square t. So we have to reduce that sine square t. So here I'll write it is nothing but Laplace of 1 minus cos of 2t whole upon 2 and then we can find out the Laplace of each term separately. Now here it is 2 times Laplace of t into e to the power minus t. So I will write it down like e to the power minus t into t. So we can change the order because it is a into b or b into a one and the same. So by doing this what I am doing is I am bringing it in the form of a shifting theorem. So I will explain you in the next step. So here also I will take 2 outside that will become Laplace of e to the power minus t into sin t plus 2 times Laplace of t into sin t. Now guys here in the fourth step and the fifth step I am going to use the property of shifting that is the first shifting theorem and here in the last step I'm going to use multiplication by t property because you can see here the form t into f of t. So let's write down the properties that is for first shifting and multiplication by t. So by first shifting property 
I'll call it as FST. We know that Laplace of e to the power negative, let's say, at into f of t is given by phi of s plus a. And we get phi of s plus a from phi of s by replacing s with s plus a. And by multiplication by t property, so here I'll say multiplication by t property, the Laplace of t into f of t is given by the formula minus of d by ds of phi of s. So guys we are going to use these two properties to solve the numerical. So in the first two terms I will copy it down as it is. Now guys for the third term I can take 1 by 2 outside because it's a constant and then Laplace of 1 is 1 by s and Laplace of cos 2t is s upon s square plus 4. So 1 by 2 outside. Now this third term, uh, I mean this fourth term is matching with the first shifting property. So here, according to first shifting property, the value of f of t is t and here a is 1. So here we will get plus phi of or I, I will call it as phi 1 because guys I am going to use this first shifting property two times, once here and second time here. So for first time I'll call that function as phi1 and for the second time I'll call that function as phi2. So phi1 of s plus 1 because the value of a is 1. Now next two times here this is e to the power minus t so value of a is 1 by using this property and f of t is sine t. So we will get plus 2 times phi 2 of s plus 1 and then in the end 2 times Laplace of t sin t and guys here I am going to use the multiplication by t property. So accordingly sin t is my f of t. So this will become minus 2 because guys here I have plus 2 and for this property we get negative sign. So that will become minus 2 d by ds of phi of s and get phi of s by the Laplace of f of t. And guys here f of t is sin t and the Laplace of sin t is 1 upon s square plus 1. So here I'll write down it is 1 upon s square plus 1. So I'm sure that you are understanding how I'm applying the property directly in the question. And if you are finding some difficulties, then you need to go back and revise my basic problems on first shifting property and multiplication by t property. So guys, let's move ahead. But before going ahead, here we have to find out phi1 of s plus 1 and phi2 of s plus 1. But we don't know how to get phi1 and phi2. Because to get phi1 and phi2, we should find out f1 and f2. So here, phi1 of s plus 1, it's a fourth term. So here I'll say where f1 of t is equal to because from f1 of t I'm gonna get phi1 of s and from phi1 of s I'm gonna get phi1 of s plus 1. So f1 of t is t so here I'll mention it is t and f2 of t is that is a phi2 of s plus 1 for that here f2 of t is this sine t. So here f2 of t is sine t. So I'm going to use this f1 of t and f2 of t for this phi1 of s and phi2 of s. So let's start. So Laplace of f1 of t here itself I'll get the value is Laplace of t which is 1 upon 
s square and I'll call this as phi 1 of s. Similarly, Laplace of f2 of t is nothing but Laplace of sin t which is 1 upon s square plus 1 and guys we will call this as phi 2 of s. Now from phi 1 of s I will get phi 1 of s plus 1 by replacing s with s plus 1. So here this will become 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square and we will get phi 2 of s plus 2 from phi 2 of s by replacing s with s plus 1. So here we will get s plus 1 the whole square plus 1. So now it's just a matter of substitution and we will get the final answer. So here I will write Laplace of function of t is now first three terms will remain as it is. I will copy these three terms. Now let's see the fourth term. So from here I will get the fourth term by replacing s with s plus 1. That is 1 upon s plus 1 the whole square plus the fifth term I'll get it from here by replacing s with s plus 1. So 2 upon s plus 1 the whole square plus 1. And the last term we will get it from here by differentiating this function. So guys this is in the form of 1 upon x. So for 1 upon x the derivative is minus 1 upon x square. So accordingly here we will get minus 1 so minus and minus will become plus so plus 2 into 1 upon x square and that is s square plus 1 the whole square and then the derivative of this function that is 2s so that will become 2 into 2 4s so guys here if you want you can expand this or you can keep it as it is so by doing this here we got the Laplace transform of this given function. So I am sure that you understood how I got the Laplace transform for this big function by using the first shifting property as well as the multiplication by t property. So if you want to learn more videos on Laplace transform and engineering mathematics then do visit to ek.com and don't forget to share this portal to your friends because they can also get benefited through this numericals. Thank you very much.